Hello, hello folks, I'm Raida Boost and here to make a short video about Autodesk InfraWorks 2018 that came out in April 2017. InfraWorks is letting designers and civil engineers to plan and design infrastructure projects in the context of the real world. This video actually mainly focuses on installation of InfraWorks 2018 and its first run. Before you can actually start with an installation, you do need to get those installation files. You can use Autodesk website autodesk.com slash InfraWorks to get to InfraWorks product page. And from here, you have a choice of free trial. Also, you can go to your Autodesk account if you are subscribed to Autodesk and download InfraWorks new version from here. If you use some Autodesk products, then it's possible that you get a notification about new version of InfraWorks. If I go to and open up my Autodesk desktop app, I can actually see that also from this list, I'm able to install InfraWorks 2018. I close this window and go back to Autodesk website and InfraWorks product page. If you have used InfraWorks before, then please note that from version 2018, there are no additions in terms of InfraWorks 360. InfraWorks is simply called InfraWorks. If I use pre-trial link, I need to be signed in to be able to download installation files. You can create your own Autodesk account, depending on if you want to use a trial or maybe you want to use it as a student. In any case, I need to create account and then sign in. Because I do have an account already, I can sign in directly. But creating an account is quite an easy step. My email and also password. Sign in. I can then select language version. I use English. And then it's possibility to select how you want to download your installation files or how you want to install the product. If you plan to install the product into multiple machines, then probably the best way to do it is using Download Manager. It means that you first download all installation files and then you start the installation procedure. In this video, I select Begin Download. It means that during installation, also additional files will be downloaded. So you need to have good internet connection during installation as well. It's the best option when you want to select some features and only those files are downloaded that are needed to install such features. Sometimes you need to download much smaller packages, but it really depends on the product you are installing. So let's begin download. I select my country of residence. Then I have to accept terms of license and services, click continue, and I save my first installation file, for example, to my desktop. It's quite a small file and it will be used to start an installation. Once it's downloaded, I can fire it up from my browser or find this installation file also from my desktop. I double click on it. During this step, additional files will be downloaded, but not again the full package. Once those files are downloaded, my setup window starts. And once again, some additional files are downloaded. So depending on your internet speed, it may take a couple of minutes, up to, let's say, five minutes or so. As you see, my Autodesk InfraWorks installation window opens up. And before I go directly to installation window, I want to point out that down below you have installation help, system requirements and treatment. Please check before you start installation because from here you can actually find what are hardware and software requirements so that you can run InfraWorks smoothly in your computer. Please also note that you can't install different versions of InfraWorks or you can't have different versions of InfraWorks in your machine. It means that you actually have to remove the previous version beforehand. If you skip that step beforehand, installation window will just notify you that you can't continue before you remove the previous version. Right now I click install. I can read license and services agreement. I have to accept with those and then hitting next. In here, I can see that this installation package includes only Autodesk InfraWorks. 
I can configure if I do a left click. And from here, I can actually select how Autodesk InfoWorks works with Autodesk Credit. At current moment, you can see that I can connect to Autodesk Credit 2017. But later, there will be, of course, a plugin to Autodesk Revit 2018 as well. If you don't have Autodesk Revit installed, of course, you don't have to pick that subcomponent. I close this window, doing a left click again. I can see my installation pass. It's C drive, program files, Autodesk. It's a default location. I can see disk space requirement. It's about 8 gigabytes. And it seems that I'm good to go to install Autodesk InfraWorks 2018. I simply hit install. Again, installing some product, it doesn't mean that just one product will be installed. There may be other components that are always needed. Some of those are Microsoft components. Altogether, you can see how many components in your case will be installed. In my case, it's seven. And the first number in here, if it goes to zero, it means that everything is installed and hopefully successfully installed. By the way, now you can see that because I install it over the web, before actually the installation will continue, I need to download those components first. One by one, those are downloaded and installed. So we have to wait after installation is finished. Once installation is finished, you should see the following screen. Hopefully states also for you that everything was correctly installed. You can check it by green check mark. Autodesk InfraWorks, also Autodesk Revit 2017 connection and also Autodesk desktop app that I showed you at the beginning. From this screen you can actually start Autodesk InfraWorks straight away, clicking on launch now. But you also can do that from your desktop because as you see on your desktop you should have now a new icon, Autodesk InfraWorks. So I will close this installation dialog and will fire up Autodesk InfraWorks 2018 first time. You will get a notification about the new version. I will simply hit continue and you should also see some previous models. But pay attention to that if you are testing this version of InfraWorks and you want to use also models in previous version, then it's always good to make a copy of your models that you start to convert for the new version. In general, Autodesk InfraWorks has started up. Now it's your time to actually start a new project using Autodesk InfraWorks. By that, I will end this video and I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.